Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and today is the first of a two-part short where we talk about how people use brands wrong and many people brand themselves too early. But to understand this first, you have to understand that a brand is a box. Some boxes are bigger than others, but a brand is a box nonetheless. A lot of people, a lot of artists don't like to be boxed in, but trust me, you have to have a box in any relationship. Think about it this way. In every single relationship you have with somebody, there's a brand at place and they primarily look at you through that brand. Your mother looks at you as son first and then you might be a rapper. Your fans would think of you as a rapper first or whatever you do. They might have not even considered that you're a son, a daughter, wife, whatever. So when you look at somebody like Donald Glover, somebody who's done all these different things, acting, rapping, he's done all these things on a high level, even still. He spent years in just writing first and he slowly, slowly but surely started to amplify others. He focuses kind of individually on one at a time and only now is he getting to the point where he can do all of the things and people can kind of just accept all of the things at once. And still, I guarantee you, when he's talking to Fox, they don't really care that he's a rapper. They only care of him as far as a director and writer of a TV show and can they create a success in that. When you're listening to one of his albums, you don't really give a damn that he wrote Atlanta or any of that other stuff. All you want at that time is, yo, be the best rapper you can be, create the best music for me right now. So understanding that is just understanding that you can't brand and sell multiple things to the same people at once, at least not in the beginning. At first you might have to sell this over here to that crowd because the 30 Rock crowd where he was writing, a little bit different than his comedy crowd, which was way different than his music crowd. A lot of the people who listen to his music have never seen or even heard of 30 Rock. One more quick example. Lil Yachty in the video that I did about him and all his marketing and branding expertise, he even talked about how, hey, I got this red hair and this is my brand right now. I start off with my image before I even came out with my music. But I understand that when I want to become an actor sometime in the future, this, my brand at the moment, doesn't necessarily fit where I want to go. But for now, this works because I'm selling to this particular crowd right now. I don't have to transfer until I'm ready to sell to this crowd. By the way, that's often where this whole idea of a sellout comes from because people just don't understand that, hey, I'm selling to somebody different right now. And all of this is really just being said to really just point out one simple thing. When you create a brand, it makes you more attractive to certain opportunities but it also can restrict and limit you from others. And that's not a problem. Nobody can have it all, particularly not at the same time. That's it. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.